Are you excited to read about the Girls Professional Baseball League? Yes. Awesome. So you just saw how on the board we did a main idea to create a summary within the introduction. You can give me a nod if you remember doing that. Okay. As you read chapter one today, you're going to do the same thing. But you and your mind have to choose that strategy that works best for you. So really quick, I'm just going to review those strategies. One is the five W's. The next is using key details and working backwards. And what was that last one? Can you remember the last one? Erin? What, so what? What, so what? So use whatever strategy works best for you, but when you come to the end of that chapter, we're gonna try to put all those important ideas together to create a simple summary. Give me a thumbs up if you feel like you can do that today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, off you go, chapter one. Chapter two. Would you mind sharing me, with me those important ideas that you wrote down for the first um, page so of chapter one? Really an idea that he would start a new woman team. Okay. And then the second paragraph was times are going to change because he said already or not the times are about to change. Okay, so what I see you doing here is that you used, I think, details in order to record that important idea. And you did the same thing for this paragraph. So what we also want to pay attention to are the text features on this page. Okay, so why don't you take a moment to read this text feature, and then when you're done reading this, we're going to talk about how this matches the main ideas that you wrote down on this page already. Okay, would you mind reading that out loud for me? Rosie the Riveter became a new American icon. She was a symbol of woman's ability to do men's job, like riveting airplane parts and plane skirts. Um, it kind of compares because it's like she, it's an icon where it's a woman's ability to do men's job, which is kind of like the Women Professional Softball League because it says professional options for women were very limited. And it's also times we're going to change because it's like a woman doing a, men, a man's job. Absolutely, so what I see here is it says that American women we're starting to work outside the home. And then down here, the detail that supports that is she was a symbol of the women, of women's ability to do men's jobs. Yeah. I love how you're annotating that. So what we're doing is we're finding connections between the text features and these main ideas as well. Okay, why don't you come over here to page five. With men fighting in the war, the country had no choice but to allow women to work and do new things. Luckily thought it was the perfect time to sell the idea of a women's softball league. Baseball teams were scrambling for new players to fill in for their missing all-stars. Many major league teams were in trouble. There were fewer games. It looked as if baseball might shut down entirely until the war was over. As men's baseball de deteriorated, like destroyed, So what made you think that that might mean destroyed? Because it says as men's baseball de deteriorated, it's kind of like, like fall apart. 
Yeah, so you can look at the clues in the text though to help support that. So you actually read something right before that that probably gave you the clue that it meant destroyed. So if you look before it says, it looked as if baseball might shut down entirely until the war was over. So within that sentence, what phrase might have helped you figure out the meaning of deteriorated? Um, phrase? Yeah, like a short phrase or just a few words that might have helped you figure out that meaning. Shut down entirely. Exactly. So what we can do now is, why don't we finish this sentence and we'll see if that makes sense, okay? What if you started back here? This man's baseball deteriorated <laughs> Wrigley as major league ballparks to host women's teams. They all said no. Okay, so let's see if this makes sense. Can you put in the word destroyed here instead of deteriorated and see if it makes sense? As men's baseball destroyed, Wrigley has major league ballparks to us women teams, they all said no. So as men's baseball destroyed... And I would say they fall apart. Yeah, that's exactly what I wrote down. So what you did here is that you used the context of this of the paragraph to help you figure out a new word. And I love that you just noticed something new or interesting when you were reading that new word. Okay, sweetie, what if we go back up here to that text feature? President Franklin D. Roosevelt encouraged employees to put aside their prejudices and hire women in the African American beside their prejudices. to put aside their judices with jobs. Okay, so this is actually the word prejudice. Prejudice. Yeah, so he's encouraging employers to put aside their prejudices and hire women and African Americans. So we know down here on this page that women didn't really get hired to do jobs outside of the home. So the president is encouraging employers to actually hire women and put away their prejudice, meaning So uh, pre when, if you are prejudiced against you are thought to not be able to do something that other people can do. Or you're treated differently because of maybe your race or your gender. So in this case, the president is saying, you know what, we need to hire women and African Americans. We don't want to think that they can do something less than other people can, okay? Um, why don't we take a moment to go to our next, the next few pages of chapter one. So what you're gonna to continue to do is annotate those important ideas in each paragraph, okay? But when you get to the end of page seven, we're gonna have to go back and look at those important ideas to create that summary. How do you feel, Jada? Do you think you can do that successfully? Yeah. Okay.